Hello there, it's Lynette Chandler from Thrive Anywhere and I'm here to show you the word puzzle generator that I talked about and I figured why not I'll just give you a quick run through of how it works and what kind of puzzles that it generates and the you know what you what you get basically uh, so what you see here on your screen is the they call it a console and it's basically access to what you see here is two different products at the bottom so let me here quickly show you right here um, I have access to this the instant puzzle generator which is a different product but the one I was talking to you about is the word puzzle generator and I'll go into a little detail about what's different about it um, basically the instant puzzle generator is the first product that they created and it creates word searches and that's all it makes um, I pro if you want to I'll probably create a different video for you and actually I did already have a different video I can point you to that one um, but for this video I just want to show you this instant word puzzle generator because that one has more puzzles and more unique different types of puzzles that you can make so when you first log in this is the screen you see you probably won't see this if you haven't bought it but if you did buy uh, IPG before then you you see it just like you see here on my screen so now I'll click access now okay hang on let me I'm learning this new feature of my um, uh, video uh, screen cre uh, sc screen grabber thingy okay so as you see here, I actually have access to the WPG, the Word Puzzle Generator, which is $27. And I also have access to the Pro. Now, the Pro is an upgrade. And uh, I apologize because I didn't really look at the pricing, but I will definitely mention it in the email. Um, <clears throat> so when you get the Word Puzzle Generator for $27, you get access to create these two types of of um, uh, of puzzles and at the bottom they also have like upgrades to um, done for you word list so that you don't have to do them yourselves and I believe color cover templates I don't think these come or maybe they do maybe they come with like one set I I'm, I'll have to look through all that but the key thing I'm sure you're pretty interested in is the creating the puzzle. So let's create a crossword. We click access now and we click create a crossword. We give it a name. So whoops, I actually want to name it that and I'm going to click create. Then I click view and then it says to upload a text or CSV file. This is the text or file that will contain all the words and the hints that you want to uh, create your crosswords with. The nice thing about this time around is that they actually give you a sample uh, input file so you can you know see how how it's done and how to structure your file uh, and uh, good thing is I actually have already downloaded it so I'm just gonna click upload select file to upload and uh, let's see here crossword input okay right there and instantly it creates this uh, view for me so this is puzzle one and that's the solution for it and then puzzle two so it can actually create a number of a bunch of different puzzles at one go let me turn that light off um, and I believe you can export this whole thing as a book in different formats too so I haven't done the export before so let me check out what these are download puzzles um, so you can download them as as a PNG, as JPEG, as P PowerPoint or a PDF. So you can like download the entire book and upload to wherever you're going to sell it. So that's pretty cool. And I believe over here too is um, where you can edit your your hints and your words, uh, something like that. And over here in this. Uh, gear icon you can change the fonts you can change the description show you know uh, show the answers how the colors and then and the style so you can actually uh, kind of play around this a little bit more but if you know 
basically it really is that simple to create your puzzles now i don't know how to get back out of here <laughs> that's so funny oh okay there it is you can you can uh, change all your hints and so on and forth so i'm not going to do that i'm going to go back here and and view so that's it and if i want to download i just hit the download button and i think i can also uh, regenerate like um and i'm not sure how the regenerate works at this point um because it's so new to me as well and I, you know, I just got access to it yesterday, but it's something worth playing with. Okay, so that's the uh, crossword puzzle. And then we can, we have the cryptogram. The nice thing about this app is that every, no matter what puzzle you're creating, the process is basically the same thing. Uh, this one I want to do crypto. I can't spell. Okay, and I click create. The process is the same, you know, I hit view, I upload, and again, I did already um, download the sample input file, so that makes it easier. And this is the cryptogram. Now, this one kind of was a little hit scratcher for me because I've never seen this type of um, puzzle, and uh, it's definitely challenging, definitely a challenging one. So basically, from what I understand, is that you have to figure out um you know a is not a a is is something else uh so for example you know this wl could be um you know what are two letter words it's in is you know so maybe w is an i so you put in your i here and then you start to you know plug in i wherever you see w that kind of thing um, but I think it's a uh, pretty interesting for sure. Uh, definitely loads and loads of hours of fun, especially for um, people who like this stuff. And I actually, I'm going to download this uh, as a PDF right now. And um, I'm going to page no number. Yeah, I'll just do like that. Center align page. No, I don't know. Um, that's fine so let's just go ahead and download this um, because I actually want to sh share this with you um, let me just double check my downloaded um, and over here okay let me open it up all right there we go so there is the puzzle book that we just created and um, that's the answer sheet in the back. All right, so <clears throat> so that's the other one. So for $27, you get access to these two puzzle creators. And if you upgrade though, you will have uh, the word scramble and a missing vowel. So let's do the word scramble first and then we'll do the, uh, the double uh, a little later because I think the double is a combo of these two. So this is scramble and I'm going to click create. And as you see, again, the process is very simple. I guess the only difference is how you structure your input file. Um, okay, right there. So this is also a lot of fun. Um, pretty good for kids, I think, especially now when you have uh, lots of kids at home still and you know so many places are talking are, are not just talking are already on a second lockdown and that's it that's how quickly I can create a scramble I'm gonna go to the missing vowel I don't think I downloaded a sample file for this so I'm doing missing vowel and let's just do this and I'm gonna download the sample input file and upload it again here just so I can plug it in and create something simple for you and again this one has like hints um, it's got you know literally what it says one missing vowel in there so I'm gonna download this again um, there we go it's taking a little bit to generate okay and finally let's go to the double puzzle and create this double puzzle create and view upload select 
Where's my double puzzle input? Okay, open, open. And there it is. So this is like a combo of the missing vowel and the scramble. So like here, the word is scramble. And and then actually, it's yeah, it's a combo. So what happens is this. So we plug it in pumpkin, right? We put it in pumpkin. And then this these shaded ones, will these shaded letters actually create another phrase or another word. So I thought that was pretty pretty cool. Um, I'm not in. I'm not creating puzzle books yet, uh, but this really really makes me want to jump right in uh, to create. You know, um, really see how this works because I I do think um, puzzle books are popular. I mean, they've been popular for decades, for as long as I can remember. And here's the fun part, I guess. I guess. Um, I've never, I've not tried it and maybe I should, but what about puzzles in different language? You know, I'm thinking of the language that I speak and write and I think, you know what, <laughs> uh, we could make it work. So uh, that's basically a rundown of how the word puzzle generator works and what kind of puzzles you can create with it. And uh, you'll find a link to it below. And if it's something that you think you want to get into or you think is right for you, it will make your job easier, especially if you're already pu uh, publishing puzzle books, uh, then go for it. Well, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you later. Bye.